Now in this video we're going to introduce the N channel enhancement mode MOSFET to this video series. I'm using the 2N7000 right there. There you can see the pin layout. I didn't write out the names and when you have the schematic symbol usually you don't have the letters uh, next to it. But uh, in any case we have the drain D, the uh, gate G, and the source S right there. There is a component there. You may need a magnification, either a loop or magnifying glass to uh, read it. We have the schematic symbol that I like. My two favorite sources of learning electronics also use it. There's all kinds of different ways to draw the uh, end channel enhancement mode uh, MOSFET. And a lot of people that watch my video say the arrow is pointed the wrong way, but it's pointed in the direction of the sources that uh, I like to use, as I said before. So I'm gonna keep using it. So in any case, we need to get the source to ground. I have that jumper to ground. This jumper uh, for the gate, it's just floating right now. And then our load is going to be on the positive uh, side of the supply. It's just an LED being protected by a resistor. When I plug this in, the LED may be on or off or part way. And uh, there you can see it actually was being turned on and off rapidly by the signal from my body right there. If I hold this, you can see I can actually uh, store a charge on the gate and it will either keep the LED on or off or in a, a partway state. But in any case, we can give it a full positive uh, five volts right here because that's what we're using. So full uh, positive supply. And you can see it's on. I wrote on off down there and uh, hopefully you can see that. And uh, camera's tripod's kind of in the way. I couldn't lower it anymore without tilting it. If I put it to the negative supply, now it is off right there. So these work really well as I'm trying to share. No, I thought I was trying to share that I'm watching through the camera. For some reason, I don't want to go into that slot. So um, don't uh, force these into the breadboard. Keep working them. Or you may damage the breadboard. That's just one little tip. But in any case, there you can see a uh, low voltage we got off low supply voltage high supply voltage we turn it on i think i'm going to do a bonus video where we look at the results where we have a mid-range voltage but the main thing is it's a voltage control switch that is what uh mosfet transistors are good for so hope you enjoyed thanks for watching